Members of the UN Security Council put on a united front in their call for Mali to hold free and fair elections in February 2022. France's ambassador, Nicolas de Rivière, said that the election was an absolute priority and the US representative uh, called for these elections to be impartial and transparent. That call was reiterated by Mexico, uh, Norway, Ireland and Niger. Security Council members expressed their support for the renewal of the UN's mission in Mali, known as MINUSMA, and they also said that they were saddened to hear that there'd been yet another attack on members of that mission over the weekend. Well, France has circulated a draft resolution for MINUSMA's renewal. Its mandate expires on June 30th. And council members said that it's more important than ever to stabilise the country following the latest coup there. China and Vietnam said that they're in favour of maintaining the current troop level of about 15,000 UN peacekeepers and police. But France called for that troop ceiling to be raised. Uh, for the moment, it does not appear to have much support for this. The US has rejected a proposal put forward by French and African countries for the UN to create an office to support and finance the G5 Sahel anti-terrorism force. And at Monday's meeting, the US representative said that there needed to be a line drawn between anti-terrorism efforts and UN personnel in order to keep them safe. France recently announced that it's ending its military operation in Mali, known as Operation Barkhane. But the ambassador to the UN, uh, Nicolas de Rivière, said that France uh, will keep a military presence in the country to support local and European efforts to stabilise the region. Well, at Monday's Security Council meeting, Russia's representative criticised France's decision to pull out its troops, saying that it was irresponsible to abandon Mali to its fate.